The world's oceans hold an incredible amount of water, around 350 quintillion gallons. When we dip a bucket into the ocean and find only water, it doesn't mean there's nothing beneath the surface. It's a reminder of the hidden ecosystems below and the vast wonders in the universe. In the grand scheme of things, our explorations are just a small part, but they've already shown us many potentially habitable exoplanets. Today, we're diving into the mysteries of promising Kepler worlds, where we'll imagine life on strange alien planets. Scientists search for twin Earths, planets that resemble our own. A twin Earth is similar in size, increasing the chances of it having a rocky surface. It's also important for the planet to orbit a star like our Sun at a suitable distance in the habitable zone. Let's take a closer look at Kepler 452 bits. Discovered in 2015, it was the first Earth-like planet found around a star like the Sun. Scientists thought it was the most Earth-like due to some good reasons. Like the Sun, Kepler 452 is a G-type star, similar in temperature but older. Even though it's brighter and slightly larger than the Sun, Kepler 452 bits gets only about 10% more sunlight than Earth. Kepler 452 bits is about 1.6 times Earth's size, making it likely a rocky planet. Its orbit is similar to Earth's, and it's in the habitable zone, though a bit farther. Spending 6 billion years in its star's habitable zone could give Kepler 452 bits an advantage in developing life. We recently found that Kepler meets some conditions for habitability. One study showed that if its atmosphere has CO2 like Earth's, it could be habitable. But what would it be like living on this alien planet? Because it's bigger, Kepler 452 bits would have stronger gravity, making people feel about twice as heavy. Over time, we'd adapt, much like firefighters carrying heavy gear. Our bodies would grow stronger through physical activity, countering the strong gravity. Generations born on Kepler 452 bits might be stronger than Earth-born ones. Despite the differences, Kepler 452 bits would feel familiar with similar sunlight and temperatures. Plants would rely on photosynthesis, growing like on Earth. There might be an atmosphere, water, and volcanoes too. While Kepler 452 bits is exciting, there are other promising Kepler worlds, though far away. It takes light 1,800 years to reach this exoplanet. But what about our fastest spacecraft? The Parker Solar Probe is impressive, yet it's only 0.063% of the speed of light. A direct trip from Earth to Kepler 452 bits would still take an astonishing 2.8 million years. Moving on to Kepler 186F, it's 500 light years away in the Cygnus constellation, orbiting a red dwarf star. Scientists found the first Earth-sized exoplanet here in the habitable zone. There could be more such worlds. Kepler 186F is a bit larger than Earth, with a longer year and colder conditions, more like Mars. This might not be a bad thing as it could help avoid deadly solar flares from its star. The potential for life on Kepler 186 depends on its atmosphere too. Its larger size could mean a denser atmosphere that helps warm the planet, potentially supporting liquid water. Other planets in the system are too hot for life, but Kepler 186F's conditions are intriguing. It would take ages to get there, but if we make faster spacecraft in the future, our descendants might explore it. On Kepler 186F, the star is dimmer, like the hour before sunset on Earth. This planet's stable climate could support life, and its large moon might play a role too. In 2020, Kepler 1649C was found, initially mistaken for a false positive. We don't know much about it yet, but its conditions might be similar to Earth's. Kepler 1649C gets less starlight, but that might not mean freezing conditions. Even Earth would be colder without greenhouse gases. The atmosphere and other factors could make Kepler 1,649 sin more Earth-like. In the Kepler 62 system, two planets are in the habitable zone. Kepler 62e and Kepler 62f might be water-rich. They have features that make them interesting for potential habitability. Kepler 62f could have a warm, humid climate, and a large moon might boost its habitability. That are far away, these exoplanets hold promise. While Kepler 452 bits 
Kepler-186f, and other exoplanets seem far, we're making strides in our understanding. Even if they're not ideal now, planets change over time, just like Earth did. Our search for habitable planets continues. Maybe someday we'll find a twin Earth not too far away. Scientists tell us that Kepler-186f is a lot like Earth when it comes to seasons and climate. It maintains a steady tilt, which means it experiences regular seasons just like we do. The stability of Kepler-186f's tilt is a big deal. A wobbly tilt can cause big problems, turning a possibly comfy planet into a harsh, barren one. For instance, Mars might have gone through this, and that's why it's not so friendly now. Searching for a Goldilocks planet is like looking for the perfect fit. Sometimes we stumble upon great finds by accident, like Kepler 1649c. 2020, scientists stumbled upon Kepler 1649c by chance. It was initially mistaken for something else, but now we know it could be quite Earth-like. It's closer to its star, so it might have temperatures like ours. Even though it might seem cold without a certain kind of atmosphere, Earth would be chilly too without the right gases. There are other planets out there that are a bit like Earth in terms of temperature or size, such as trappist one F, trappist one T Garden C, and TOI-700D. They're not too far away, unlike Kepler-1649C, which is quite a long journey from us. Speaking of journeys, let's talk about Kepler-442 bits. It orbits a star at about half the distance between Earth and the Sun. But don't worry, it's not too close to get all tangled up with the star's gravity. Kepler-442 bits has a good spot in its star system. The star is cooler and dimmer than our Sun, which actually works in favor of the exoplanet. Scientists like these kinds of stars because they offer a nice balance of conditions for possible habitable planets. Now let's figure out how promising Kepler-442 bits really is. Scientists have a way to measure a planet's potential to support life. It's like giving planets a score based on various things. Kepler-442 bits got a pretty decent score, around 0.84. It's a bit hard to see this planet directly though and even harder to visit. The fastest spaceship we have would take about 1,700,000 years to get there. But there's more we can do. Scientists study things like radiation to learn about an exoplanet's potential for life. Kepler 442 bits has caught our attention in that area too. So, while these exoplanets might seem distant and challenging to explore, we're learning so much from them. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding whether we're alone in the universe or if there's more out there to discover. This planet gets just about the right amount of sunlight it needs to potentially support a wide variety of life. The James Webb Space Telescope, a powerful tool, could help us find signs of life there. Speaking of telescopes, let's focus on two more interesting planets nearby. They're in the same star family called Kepler-62. It's like they're living in the same neighborhood. In this family, we have a trio of planets that are too close to the star, and it's just too hot there. So, they're out of the comfort zone. But Kepler-62e and Kepler-62 have found the sweet spot, not too hot, not too cold. These planets are special because they might have a lot of water. Imagine oceans and rivers, just like here on Earth. Scientists have given them a similarity score to Earth, kind of like saying how much they're alike. Kepler 62e scored 0.83, and Kepler 62 have got 0.69. That's a pretty good match. Kepler 62e takes a short trip around its star every 122 days. On the other hand, Kepler 62 likes to take things slow with an orbit of 267 days. Kepler 62e seems to have a cloudy sky, but that doesn't stop it from having warm and humid weather, even at the North and South Poles. It's like living in a tropical paradise. Now, here's an interesting idea. Kepler 62e might have a really big moon. That's a good thing because moons help planets behave. They keep the planet's spin in check, which affects its weather. And they can be like bodyguards, protecting the planet from space rocks. Kepler 62f, though a bit cooler, still has potential for life. But things might be a bit different there. For example, making metal things might be tough because they need certain materials and heat. 
it's like trying to build a sand castle without any sand. Despite these challenges, nature has a way of surprising us. Just look at Earth. It used to be covered in water, but now we have land and oceans. Maybe these planets will change too, evolving over time. Imagine sending a message to these planets. If we use our fastest technology, it could take more than a million years to reach them. But if we send a radio signal, it could be there in just 1,200 years, a tiny moment in the universe's grand timeline. Kepler-62e and Kepler-62 might not be exactly like Earth right now, but who knows what the future holds. Our own planet has changed a lot, so maybe these planets will transform too. They could become a lot like Earth, with land and water working together. Who knows, they might even have some strange creatures, like our flying fish. And here's a cool thought. There's a good chance that a planet just like Earth could be hanging out somewhere not too far away, maybe just a short cosmic stroll of 20 light years.